Hello everyone, welcome to Advanced Deep Learning for Computer Vision. This is the winter semester of uh, 2020 and we're going to have the second virtual version of this lecture. Let me start by introducing the team. I'm Laura Leal Taché. I'm a professor of computer science at TUM and we're going to have this lecture together with uh, Professor Matthias Niesner. And we have four amazing tutors that are going to help you out with your research projects. We have Dave, Yavar, Guillem, and Ismail. So let me start by introducing what this course is about. So first of all, I assume that you have all taken Introduction to Deep Learning, so you are familiar with the basic concepts of deep learning. And with this lecture, we're going to go deeper into advanced deep learning methods, which are specific for computer vision tasks. So we're going to focus a lot on new methods. Some of them were presented just last year, so really state-of-the-art um, methods, research that is going on at the moment in academia and also in industry. There will be plenty of extra references for you to dig deeper into the topics. And so we can say that uh, this is a research-oriented course. So we're going to go really deep into the topics of computer vision. So while we go over all of these new methods, this is going to happen in the first part of the semester, you will have the chance to come up with your own ideas to solve a specific vision problem. So this course has a very strong focus on the practical side. So we have envisioned for you a semester-long project where you can put all the knowledge to practice. And this is going to be the most important part of this lecture, the semester-long project. Now, it is very important to note that the project is very time-consuming. We are aware that this project is very time-consuming, but the people that usually sign up for this course are people that are very, very interested in computer vision and want to get their first experience, practical experience, in some real vision problem. And real vision problems are hard, which means you are going to have to spend quite a lot of time on this project. So just be aware of this. If you don't have time to spend it on this project this semester, then please consider dropping the course. And I say this because the project is done in teams of two, which means that at the start of the semester, we actually, you are going to set up these teams of two, and we want to avoid as much as possible students dropping mid-semester, because this means that then students are left alone to pursue this project, which is very, very hard. So please think carefully now, at the beginning of this semester, whether you have time to dedicate to ADL4CV. And if not, we can ask you to consider to take the course on another semester. Now let's go over the practical aspects of the course organization. The theory is going to be covered in eight lectures, and we're going to have two lectures per week. One lecture coming on Monday and another on Friday. Of course, the course is going to be fully virtual, so the lectures are going to be uploaded on YouTube and you can watch them on your own time. Now, the practical part, as I said, the project is going to be done in groups of two. This is non-negotiable. The presentations are going to take place during the semester, so I will explain when we're going to have presentations and who is going to present. So there are going to be two presentations during the semester and a final poster presentation, which is also going to be virtual. You can find more information of the lecture in the address provided below. We still don't have the date, the exact date for the exam, but um, we're going to have two review sessions and the exam is going to account only for one third of the grade. So as we said, we give a lot of importance to the practical part to this semester long project, and this is going to account for two thirds of the final grade. Now let's talk about the project deadline. So this Friday, 6th of November, we're going to put online some project presentations. Our tutors, Dave, Yavar, Guillem, and Ismail, 
are going to present projects that they think are interesting, that are related to their own uh, PhD or postdoc research. And you could then look at those videos and either get inspired or um, come up with your own ideas for a project. One week later, we will have the project assignment. So we will assign projects to uh, tutors or TAs. And then you will have 10 days to deliver a one page abstract of your idea for the project. And this abstract has to contain concrete ideas on how you actually want to do the project and um, which milestones do you want to reach at um, each point in the semester. And then we will take um, less than a week, hopefully, um, to evaluate this abstract um, that you will provide for us and um, to give you a little bit of feedback whether we think this project is feasible or not. Now, when you write this abstract, you first have to meet with your TA to come up with, uh, with the idea and to agree on the idea. So we hope that the abstracts already contain feasible ideas. Also, um, note that we cannot provide any GPU access for this project. So you can use um, Amazon Cloud Services or uh, Google Colab. So make sure that uh, you take this into account when thinking about the project. So if you have to train a network on millions of images, um, you're likely going to get a feedback that this is actually not feasible unless you have your own GPU cluster, which is actually very rare. Now, the project evaluation is uh, going to consist in two presentations during a semester and a final poster presentation. These presentations are going to be virtual and everyone needs to attend. And the idea is that everyone can ask questions um, about any of the projects. So the idea is to have kind of a group event where everyone asks questions and uh, where the presenters can find out um, what they did wrong, can get also new ideas for their project if they are stuck. So this is really a group event. The presentation dates have already been set. They're going to be the first presentation at the end of this year on the 13th and 16th of December. And these are going to happen during the slots reserved for the original lecture. So the times will be preserved, but um, of course the presentations are going to be virtual. And by the first presentation, we expect that you have your first results, um, explanation of the challenges that you encounter, etc., etc. The second presentation is going to happen towards the end of January on the 22nd and the 25th of next year. And here you should present almost final results. So everything new that you tried between the first and the second presentation and what are the results that you obtained. Now, on the 8th of February, you're going to submit a report of maximum four pages using a CVPR template that we will provide for you. And then four days later, on the 12th of February, this is um, the day where the semester ends, we're going to have a virtual poster session also at the slot uh, when the lecture is supposed to happen. So between 2 and 4 p.m. Now, as I said, the exam is only one third of the grade and the particle part is two thirds. And this is further divided into the presentation. So the two oral presentations during the semester plus the poster presentation. All of these presentations account for one third of the grade of the practical part. The final report is another third and the code submission is going to be another third. Now, the idea is that um, you communicate with the tutors, with the TAs during the semester. And so you can discuss the progress of your project. So it's not a valid option to come to your first presentation or your second presentation and state that you didn't progress because you didn't know what to do. You should meet weekly with your tutors, with your TAs. They will have office hours. You can communicate with them when to meet to discuss the progress, to discuss if you are stuck with something. And so 
the, the TAs will announce to you when they can meet after the projects are approved and the assignments are made. So you can directly then communicate with your assigned tutor. Now the slides um, will be put on Moodle. As every year, the lecture is going to be entirely online, so we will have all the videos on YouTube. You can go on the website to check for all the dates that we have discussed. And if you have any questions regarding the organization of the course, please email um, to this address here and do not use our individual addresses because we cannot really answer all of the emails that we get to our individual addresses. So just to make sure that you get an answer, please write to the official mailing list of ADL for CV. Now again, I want to stress that um, the teams have to be of two persons per project. And since Moodle is already set up, you can already start discussing, um, posting on Moodle if you're looking for uh, a person to form a team. Once we present the projects on Friday the 6th of November, you can already start discussing topics and find your teammate on Moodle if you don't have it already. Thank you so much. We really hope that you enjoyed this lecture on advanced deep learning for computer vision. See you at the next lecture.